Hi there, my name is Olivia Stinson and I am a first year grad student at Fort Hayes State University in Hayes, Kansas. Um, I got my undergraduate degree at Doan University in Crete, Nebraska, and I am 22 years old and my focus is working with ceramics and mixed media. So I'm in the age group of 19 to 24. So conceptually, both of these pieces go hand in hand to represent social issues and internal conflicts. And what I mean by that is the way we interpret the world around us, how we internalize that information and the actions that result from those interpretations. Um, there are tons of social issues in this world, but the main one that I focused on was um, societal standards and norms and how the increase in social media plays a part in how we see ourselves. These two figures are representing how many people mask over their wants, interests, and desires in order to fit in with the majority of society. App, or they alter their mental, emotional, and physical aspects of their character, which in turn puts them in a good light to the outside world. But what they don't know, all of these changes end up in self-conflict, internal conflict. Um, these internal conflicts can go from losing touch with yourself, self-criticism, to physical conflicts like eating disorders, self-harm, um, and basically anything that involves changing who you want to be to who society wants you to be. Um, both of these figures were made from terracotta clay. I'm currently in the process of testing out different clay bodies to see which one works for me. But for this one, I use terracotta clay. Um, I go about this by rolling out 25 pound slabs and proceed to hollow form the body in sections. So I will take the flab, the flab, the slab, and it's flat and then I will stand it up and wrap it around into a tube. And once I do that, I will chop it into sections and take my hands or some tools and start pushing, pulling, manipulating the clay to in turn make body movements or body shapes. So start at the bottom, at the base and work and make the hips and then push it in to make the waist and all the way up um, until we get to the head and then the head is made separately and then Put on using the same method of hollow forming except it's just the slab is a little bit thicker so I'm able to carve into it and not go completely through the clay. Um, I actually created both of these pieces with hollow eyes and only some of their body with no arms, no legs, just a head and a body. Um, the eyes are carved out to represent that it, this is a casing of somebody and not an actual person itself. The casing is supposed to be um, the layers and layers we put on ourselves to slowly change who we are to fit societal norms. And so you will see that there are mapping lines on this figure in the surface. I go about that by painting layers of slips and ongobes, colored slips and ongobes onto the clay while it's leather hard. And then while that's still wet, I'll take a sharp little tool, doesn't really matter what, I think I used like the tip of a toothbrush this time and carved into that to show these kind of blueprints or mapping lines of like you're planning on changing yourself in a way. But there's this casing that kind of resembles is not who you really are. And then I will fire it. Um, terracotta can only really be fired to a bisque fire, which is cone zero six, um, anything over that and you'll melt the clay. Um, and then after I take it out, I will fix any imperfections and then I will use auto body filler to fill in anything that went wrong. If things popped off, if um, cracks happened and then I'll add some additional acrylic paint layers to that. And that'll be, that's, that's the final step. Thank you to the Salina Art Center for accepting my pieces and letting me be a part of your 3D tour.